Hey guys, we're back. Are we all on that camera or are we switching still? I think we're here. Great. Hey guys, uh, I'm in the chat room now, so ask us questions. Uh, so yeah, Weeping Bell asks, how is everyone getting home? Uh, I only, I didn't even finish this entire beer. Uh, so I'm going to drive. <laughs> I finished one beer, but I am an adult man, so I can drive. I'm an adult man! <laughs> and I'm not some dwarf. I'm an adult. Uh, magic user said the dwarf reactions were very funny. Yeah. Nice. Uh, <laughs> uh, Will Breviathan said, maybe give Clay a nice butt grab for me. So oh. I guess I've got that to look forward to. <laughs> uh, yeah, of course. Breviathan said, Breviathan said, thanks for bringing my adventure to life. Absolutely. I hope... Uh, with the, the user, user submitted ones, I always kind of like have to embellish and like add stuff to flush it out a bit. I hope you enjoyed it. What what kind of stuff did you have to add? Um, so I believe, uh, please thank the team for yeah, uh, Brian thanks the team for an awesome job of too. Yeah, thank you. Crew. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so like uh, the what was originally submitted bro, by Brovithan was basically Alhazred the Mad had his chickens escaped. <laughs> Uh, he had a bunch of chickens. He lived in a house in Calmstone. Uh, I'm blanking. I feel like there's one other detail that was what he suggested in. But, like, all of the suggestions are fairly, like, skeletal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I add on a lot. So I actually, it was actually funny how it worked out. I had, I keep a list of, like, just, like, seeds of adventure ideas for mm -hmm. this. And I had one that was a guy has a hundred chickens. What? As a cult because he believes... <laughs> The soul of a hero is in one, but he doesn't know which one. Oh, yeah. And so I was like, nice. well, I'm just going to incorporate that Whoa. together and like That's smash crazy. them together. It's funny how those things actually come up when we do the user submitted ones relatively often. Weird. Um, that one was very uh, <laughs> like, like the peanut butter and jelly going together. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. That's right. His suggestion was that he uh, never. That El Hazram never remembers anyone's names and calls them a different name starting uh, with the same letter. Nice. Which I don't know if anybody noticed. I had a chart of names oh. with G, T, and F. Mm. The reason I had a chart and didn't just make them up is all the names written down were names of characters that have been on the show before. Very nice. So Gorf was Sarah Claspel's uh, name. Guaplar right. was Ronnie Adrian's mm. name. Uh, I don't think I got any fun names. Did he never call you Trevor? I thought he called you Trevor once. If he did, I didn't catch it. Um, I and he actually, like, you, I don't think he got you one. You're gonna possibly going to be called Fancy. Oh. F-A-N-T-S-Y. Oh, which is Marissa Strickland's name. Uh, let's <laughs> see. Awesome job, everyone. Shout out from Michigan. Three new regular viewers from you. Yeah, Yay. Michigan! Uh, yeah. I'm originally from northern Michigan, the UP. I'm originally from Metro Detroit. Woo! Yeah. I'm from the corner of the state. Oh, Wait, really? Mm -hmm. Which uh, corner? Got your crowd oh, asked, okay. how you guys feel Indiana. burning the how did you guys feel burning the town down? <laughs> Great. Uh, I can't believe I forgot to give that result at the oh, end. Yeah. What happened? One last failure. So how much did the town burn out? So I got to do a little math because I was made. I made up a chart on the fly that's working on percentages. Oh, oh man, I thought you had like a map Eight. and you were going to show us what buildings burned down. That's why I wanted. <laughs> we're going to have to update the map on <laughs> like a little. Fun. Just cross them out. <laughs> oh wow! What? Oh. Based on the number of saving throws I made, two thirds of the wooden buildings in the old word <laughs> at least got lit on fire, including but not limited to an alley full of hobos. Oh, a foster place for like uh, pets okay. Okay. and an orphanage uh, and that's what they get for stealing a chicken uh, so that's they what get to we set the place on fire I think we set a precedent <laughs> so you guys are monsters uh, let us know if you have any questions for these guys about anything really uh, actually well where uh, <laughs> Broviathan said yay <laughs> Um, mm. uh, this is something I, uh, chat called this the quote-unquote happy ending. <laughs> it was pretty happy. Yeah. yeah. It's like the best case scenario. Yeah. Uh, we burned down a town, but we got money. <laughs> yeah. We burned down part of a section of a town. Yeah. Right. Right. Um, the orphanage. Right. So we're going to we're gonna have to make a note that a huge chunk of that <laughs> burned down in the great, uh, orphanage fire. Oh, wait, is this oh. the same town every time? 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh we like no. we made a permanent dent. World. Yes. Legacy left our mark. Yes. Mm. My father uh, will know about this. Reggie Watts might be affected by what we did here today. <laughs> um, the magic user says Rogue got everyone in trouble, which helped everyone jump into their personalities on the fly. Great job. And the dry humor lady also made me laugh all throughout. <laughs> I think that's true. I think that's true. <laughs> 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 trying nice. so much. And then he said, whether trying or not, like, DM so cute, may I transmute the clay? I don't know what Ooh. that means. Exactly. What? May I transmute I I the that clay? Means. Transmute the clay. That's... Is that like the some... thing from Ghost? I don't know. What? I don't think that's what transmutation means. <laughs> well, maybe when it comes to clay. Uh, and then he made, he put that Twitch. Do you guys know Twitch emojis? There's a Twitch emoji of, like, a guy's face that is very weird. Uh, <laughs> that's just, like, here, I'll show you. Okay. Oh, wow. It's, it's like such a specific face. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, it means squiggity swooty. He's coming for the booty. booty. <laughs> swooty, uh, swooty. Did you at least burn the jail down also? Uh, oh, no, the jail no. Is, of Calmstone is not located in the old ward. Well, you know, innocent until proven guilty. Can't just go burning around. Yeah, let's burn the children instead. <laughs> well, the children uh, and the pets. Yeah. yeah. The two most innocent <laughs> groups of people in Calmstone. Stone to flesh, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, one thing we always ask, some, or always try to ask when we come back from the breaks, and we just didn't, I for, honestly, I just forgot. I think I got distracted by pizza this time. Sure. Uh, <laughs> so like, What's all your experiences with the indies? So, like, uh, James, I know you've played before, 5th edition, right? Yeah, but never prior to, like, a year or two ago uh, with my roommate. He played in high school. Uh -huh. I was like, hey, this would be a lot of fun. So he bought this handbook, and uh, he hadn't played 5th edition. but So he, like, learned that, and it was right. a lot of fun. Yeah. And then we fell out of it just because we couldn't meet as frequently as we'd want to. But So this was my first time in, like, a year. Felt oh, good. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, and Maggie, I forget, because you've been on the show before, but yeah, I mean what your experience level is? Uh, yeah, I've done the show before, um, but my brother does D&D, uh, right. like, all the time. Um, and I tried to play with him in high school. He told me to draw a character, and I drew Pikachu. He told me that wasn't cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so he didn't let me play. Um, but uh, I just know a lot through him. But I mean, that's just an electricity-based shifter wizard. That's Thank all. you. That's what I tried to explain. He was not uh, having it. <laughs> and then, uh, Jamie, this is your first time playing, right? Yeah, I didn't know anything about it. Hopefully that didn't so, show too much. I always like asking the people who is, this is like their first time playing, because we have a lot of first-timers on this show. Okay. Uh, like, <clears throat> what was, like, how did that compare to what you thought D&D &D was? I honestly don't know what I, I thought it was. I was very intimidated by this sheet of, of words <laughs> and numbers. I was not aware there would be math involved. Uh I don't know how I would have felt about it. I ended up, I had so much fun. I mean, it was, it was good. I just originally, you know, picked three words from the email you sent me. <laughs> <laughs> and then named myself after uh, my pet turtle that I accidentally killed. Oh. No. Oh. Shout out well, to the football team. Today's getting somber. That was uh, <laughs> negligence. <laughs> no. uh, well, I'm glad you had fun. <laughs> no. uh, Birds vs. Plane said, uh, fit in well. Uh Provides us. What two classes are they most interested in? Uh, I think like classes of D and D characters. Yeah, I mean, oh. I love that rogue. I love mm -hmm. rogues. That's fun. Anything else? Algebra and French. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a bard. Bard. Okay. Yeah. Bard can mm. be fun. If you can play a fighter, Maggie. Is there another one you'd want to play? Maybe something with magic. Mm -hmm. That'd be cool. Yeah. Um, this is the first time we had like no magic yeah. users, yeah. which was interesting. <laughs> it does. It does make the fights. A little more of like a back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so off of the list that any you remember that you were like, oh, maybe that. <laughs> of like a. Of like the like there were, you're a rogue. They're fighter. He's uh, Maggie's a fighter. Like I think I, I said. Oh, you I want to be a warlock. That was another. Oh. oh yeah. Warlocks yeah. yeah. well, are fun. Mm. Um, hmm. A druid. <laughs> a ranger. Uh, I'm just Jackie kidding, that's 77709 as <laughs> do you guys know anyone from the Critical Role group on the Geek and Sundry channel? Uh, no, I know the only person I know involved in Geek and Sundry is Leo Camacho. I don't know if he's that involved, but he's a really good friend of mine. Mm -hmm. 
Um, yeah, I don't know anybody from Critical Role exactly, uh, but we actually had Becca Scott Kearns, who does mm-hmm. stuff for Geek and Sundry on last After Dark episode, the one with Reggie Watts that we were saying is going to stream tomorrow. It's also up on YouTube if you just want to watch it whenever you want. Uh, but yeah, Becca's great, and she does the show leading into Critical Role. Um but yeah, that's like one of those things as we're slowly building our channel, it's always like we want to get more guests yeah. like that on. We want to like cross-pollinate. We want to find some synergy with the <laughs> D&D community. Oh. Um, as well as getting more comedians on and stuff too. It's fun to have like different people who like don't necessarily know each other and mix it up a bit. Yeah. Um, let's see. Reviathan says you would be a bitchin' bard. Oh, who, me? I, or Clay. I assume you, because you said you would be interested in being yeah. a bar. Yeah. Nice. Um, yeah. Thank you. Uh, any other questions, guys? I think people are winding down, because it's late. Yeah. yeah. Also, if anybody's on... I'm curious if anyone is watching this on the East Coast, because that would be... I guess it's 1.20 a.m. Oof. This oh, is actually much... The last time we did an After Dark episode, we didn't start until 9. Oh. And so we finished uh. at, like... I think it was close to midnight, right? Oh no! And wow. so, like the pe- that we had one or two people in the East Coast who were watching at like three thirty a.m. Why? <laughs> All right. Oh, it is after. Yeah, Bro Viathan says it's after midnight where he is. Um, thanks, so, yeah, bro. I think we'll just yeah. wrap it up then. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll be back next week. Uh, glad you could catch the show too, Bro Viathan and the Brochen. Uh, <laughs> I always say that his full name. He's been watching us for a, quite a while. <laughs> and, like, I never just say Broviathan. Well, it's a name worth saying. Yeah, it's a good name. Uh, we're going to host uh, Saving Throw. Oh, oh, also, yes, thank you. Uh, my producer just reminded me. Saving Throw, uh, we're going to this one. Saving Throw, another great D&D show that uh, we actually know. I'm friends with one of the people on it, Amy Vorpal. We're going to shut this down, and then we're going to host them if you want to keep watching that. So, check wow. it out. Uh to Yuda says, uh, hi, Jamie. Oh, I know. Hi. 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 <laughs> uh, hi, Ty. That's it. Oh, my God. Someone says it's 7 a.m. here. I watched it the whole night. Are they in Poland or Scotland? I guess. Wow. Uh, Good morning to you. We're, we're finishing up, and now all these people are saying all this awesome stuff. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. Everybody who stayed up late, that's incredible. Thank you for watching. And we will be back next week. Good night. Or or good morning. Or good morning. (laughs) Wherever you are, have a great day or night. (laughs) Time is a